Let's talk about Earth. We're not done yet. So now let's talk about Earth here. This is going to be interesting. Concerning the Earth right here, we're all flesh. We're all, uh, we're all bound to the Earth. Man is made from the Earth. Now, I want to, uh, we're not going to turn over there for time's sake, so we'll just skip that. But in the Earth, there is a kingdom. And that kingdom is ruled by Satan. How do you know that, Pastor? Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, in whom the God of this world. Uh, the Bible says in Luke chapter 4, the kingdoms of this world are mine, says Satan. So the world is ruled by Satan. But here's the thing. Man is created from what? The earth. So was it Lucifer or man who ruled the earth when God, as soon as God created the earth? Who was it that ruled? Man. Adam and Eve. Adam was created from the dust of the ground, earth. And hence, the earth was his domain and rule. Not the darkness. It's the earth. Satan, what did he, what did he see? He did not like that because he used to rule over the earth. Satan, he's into that spiritual realm. This earth does not belong to him. So what did Satan do? Satan, he had to tempt man, get him out of the picture, and did man fall? Yes. So Satan took over the earth as a result. But this is very important to understand now. The concentration of man is what? Earth. Man is focused on earth. This is not spirit. This is human. This is man. This is not spiritual. Again, let me repeat that. This is not spiritual. This is human. This is physical. When God started his nation of Israel, remember, man's spirit died. But in Christ, we all became alive, right? So the Holy Spirit realm cannot live in mankind for about 4,000 years. So without the spiritual realm, then how can God deal with man? Man is created from what? Earth. So God has to deal with them physically. The, hence, thus we believe in dispensationalism. And before the Christian church age, how did God deal with mankind from the past dispensations? Physically, because man is of the earth. So when he started his own, uh, let's, so Adam and Eve, but they messed up. So then God started with Noah. Okay, let's start a fresh new kingdom. What happened? Messed up, Tower of Babel. Then God says, let's start a group of people to start this kingdom. Jews. So if God's going to use mankind, Physically, not spiritually, because the spirit is dead. Then what he's going to have to do is he's going to use man physically and start his own physical kingdom. That's the nation of Israel. You know what God said to Abraham? I'm going to make your population, this, your seed, numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the sea. Sand on the sea is referring to up there in the universe or down below on the earth. Earth. Those are the Jews. Oh, good. Stars of heaven. Is that the Jews? No. Those are Christians. Wait, pastor, why? Oh, why? God is what? <laughs> God created what in the firmament? Lights. The book of Job? The morning stars and sons of God. John chapter 1, you believe on the Son of God, you're what? Son of God. 1 Corinthians 15, what does it say? Every man has his own light that shines. What did Jesus Christ say to you? Let your light so shine before men. Man, that's good. That's why I have to keep continuing, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to ruin it, okay? We're going to get out of here a little late, okay? So I'm going to have to apologize to the owners. But anyway, right here, so Israel is bound to the human realm. Now, this is why this is very important for you to understand. If that's the case, Christians... Yeah, I'm just running out of room everywhere, okay? So Christians, we are dealt differently, aren't we? What is our kingdom? Is it physical or spiritual? Spiritual. What is our element then, earth, or is it light? 
It's light. <laughs> it is light. So this is something important to understand then. Since our kingdom is spiritual, their kingdom is physical. That's why dispensationalism demands a difference of kingdoms. Kingdom of heaven and kingdom of God. God is a spirit. That's why we're kingdom of God, spiritual. Well, the Jews, their kingdom of heaven on earth. Why did he call it heaven, pastor? Because why? It belongs to heaven itself. He wants them to understand that fact. Okay, but anyway, let's continue on right here. So that's why the nation of Israel today, when God dealt with them physically throughout the Old Testament, he dealt with them physically. He did it through what they see and what they feel. He created laws on the earth, the Old Testament. That's why he did signs, wonders, visions, healings. Why? Physically. Dealing with man. But he did not do that with saved Christians. He deals with them by two powerful things. That's why this is very important. That's why do people retreat to being a Jew? I want the physical riches that a Jew has. I want to go by the law of Moses, the physical law. I want to have the signs, wonders, and healings. No, there are two powerful elements, powers, did you forget what are the two intermediate powers that you want to be a part of in this study? <laughs> Do you know what Christians live by today? These two things. Why? Because we walk by faith, not by sight. The physical realm is gone. We're going by faith. And faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the what? What did Jesus Christ say to save people? Let your what? Light so shine before men. We're supposed to, so the two most powerful things, you ready? This is what we're going to almost close right here. Then I got a little closing and another closing, okay? You know what? The two most powerful things that a Christian has today, if, what did Jesus Christ mean by the light in you? Your testimony. Jesus Christ in you. That's the most powerful, that's the most powerful element you have that even affects the laws of physics. The second thing is the Word of God. The more time The Jews, that's why it makes sense. If Satan wants to conquer the earth, God had his own people, Israel, which is a physical kingdom, to battle against Satan's physical kingdom on the earth. Remember, Satan took over. But God set up a kingdom to conquer this one. Hence, Joshua, Moses, David, etc., Solomon, and all these people built up their own human kingdom on the earth to battle against Satan's physical kingdom. But in the end, Israel just fell into bondage. God gave them up, and then hence came Jesus Christ to give these two powers instead after that. But God's promise to Israel was this. I will bless them that bless thee, curse them that curse thee. I will make you physically rich. That's why in the Bible, when it talks about physical riches when they serve God, it's all Jewish. That's why... Who's the ones who are successful in the scientific field? What? Jews. You'll see a lot of Jews who discovered a lot of things in the scientific field relating to the physical universe. That's why in the conspiracy theory realm, who are one of the top elites? Jews. Hence Rothschilds and then the things going on at the elites, the bankers, and etc. Let's bring up another one right here. How did we all become so worldly-minded of this earth, so worldly minded, because of Hollywood. Who are most of the directors in Hollywood and producers? Jews. 
Satan corrupted the Jews so that he can keep his little dominion going. So what, does, what is God going to do? Now we close, all right? You ready for this? Okay, so let's wrap this up quickly. What is God going to do to retaliate against all this? You know how God's going to do to retaliate against all this? <laughs> I'm excited about this. He's first going to start with the Christian. With the Christian, he gave them light and the word. That's how we conquer against the devil's system. That's why you Christians better get back to that and not try to... Why does everybody want to be a Jew? Why do religions want to be a Jew? Why is it that... Why did, stop that, man. Go back to here. That's how you fight against the devil's system. So that's how God starts. And then when the rapture sounds and then we go up to heaven, God just slaps the devil right on the face where gravity held, or so-called gravity, held us down all this time. And God says, you're going up. Hey, praise God. You're going up. Not only that, Satan fell lightning from heaven, right? The Bible says the coming of the Son of Man is like lightning. So he just slaps the devil again after that. The Bible also says that when we get raptured, we have to go through heaven, right? Yeah. So here we go. We're out through this darkness. So we're like saying bye-bye darkness. We're just slapping the devil again. The darkness can't keep us back. The waters can't keep us back. And Leviathan is swimming, swimming right there. Yeah. The fire can't keep us back. Why? We're safe from hell fire. <laughs> and we enter the light and we say, nya, 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 to the devil after that. We conquered all the elements. So Satan, he's got, he's got this. And what happens? Revelation 12, God kicks him out of the darkness. And uh, Michael and the angels, they kick the devil out. And so he lands on the earth. All he's got is this earth. So he builds up. That's why he's preparing. See, this New World Order stuff, everything that's going on. He's preparing all this with technology, with how he's using the Jews, with how he's using the scientists and the psychologists and the New Agers and all that because they all hold to the intermediate powers. And Satan, all he's got is those things. And through these things, he's building it up. And then one last stand against God. And you know what God does? He already took care of his people, the Christians. Now he's going to go back to who? Israel. With Israel, he rescues them at the end at Armageddon. And you got 144,000 Jews at Revelation chapter 7. And he, the Bible says the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord. He takes back the earth from Satan. And all Satan got at the end is one element. You know what one element Satan got at the end? He goes down to the lake of fire. That cleansing, that purging outside. Thus, there is no more sin in God's creation because he's at that purging right there. Isn't the Bible awesome?